afternoon everyone my name is Cynthia and this is going to be the first video as I start my journey um, with having the reshaped balloon system inserted my um, procedure date is August 3rd 2016 today is July 23rd 2016 so um, just a little bit about my process and actually just you know a little bit about how I got here and, and I apologize in advance I am a team lip gloss and go individual and I am using the time while I'm sitting waiting for my son in his tutoring program to record this video so hopefully you guys don't judge me on my appearance but I did want to start my journey now and really use this as an opportunity to actively engage myself as well as those that may be interested to follow my journey. So hopefully you'll get the most out of it. So just a little about me. Um, I've always had, my current weight is 5'7", my height is 5'7", my weight is 2'18". Um, I had always had a very athletic build. Um, I've always been very active, but um, due to stress over the last couple years, I had gained 40 pounds in three months. Um, and, you know, as I have been doing over, you know, the last 10, 15 years, um, I've always been in a mode to try to lose weight and hadn't been it's been a very yo-yo process, as I'm sure most of you are familiar. Um, so, I, you know, whether it was just the stress of it all, it was impacting my full life. You know, it, it was, you know, extremely depressing. Um, I tried to stay out of, um, out, I'm sorry, I know the light from the car is impacting a little, I'm trying to adjust. Um, I tried to stay out of anywhere basically anything that I just had to do I did um, but I work from home so that helps and you know unless it was something I had to do for my son I pretty much just fell off the grid and you know it, it was becoming a cycle um, and you know just that defeating feeling of you know when you're doing everything you can from a diet and exercise perspective and not seeing those results you know, just leaves you into a further depression. So then you make bad choices, you go through these cycles, which I'm sure all of you can relate to. Um, and, you know, I had just been in that and it just got into a point where something had to give because I could see how it was impacting my relationships. I could see how it was consuming my thoughts. I could see how, you know, I was starting to take it out on my son. So that was just unacceptable. Um, after a lot of research, I had actually decided to do the gastric sleeve, um, you know, given that my BMI was right at the 35 mark and I didn't have what would be considered true comorbidities, um, you know, it was a little difficult to find reputable places that would perform the surgery. Um, and I had no intentions on going to Mexico, Dominican Republic or any of those places. So um, I kind of put that on hold for a second, but when I came back, I was able to locate some very reputable surgeons and had actually scheduled an appointment, which is actually still scheduled and I need to cancel. Um, however, you know, I just, I went back and forth on, it was the permanent C of it all that I just, I couldn't grasp. And it was something that, you know, and I even asked the question, well, what if, you know, because I hear that, you know, you could stretch your stomach back out. But, you know, so I was kind of looking at that as an attempt to make it reversible. But apparently that's not recommended. And, you know, it's not a good thing for your stomach that has been sleeved to stretch out. So... Um, I just happened to run into the gastric balloon again, you know, during my typical stressing, depressing, stressing, you know, and researching. I happened to run into the process about the gastric balloon. Um, and, you know, in that, I ran into 
you know, discussions, very limited discussions, which is why I'm recording this video because I'm not the type that likes to vlog. These are my first sets of vlogs, so I hope you guys will be patient with me. But, you know, it was very limited information on both the Obera and Reshape Balloon, though I was starting to find some. And then the information was very minimal um, and kind of inconsistent, you know. So, you know, it could be positive, but it could be minimal. And, you know, I, I, I'm the type, I, I like to see consistent results before I proceed. But, you know, I had been in a place of, I want to put in the work. Um, I just really needed to feel the results of the work that I was putting in, which wasn't happening to date. So I saw the places that would locally perform the reshape, reshape procedure. Um, like I said, I chose reshape over Obera just because um, I did see one doctor that um, had, you know, his general statistics and his patients performed better with the reshape versus Obera. So, excuse me, um, I, I spoke with them and I ended up scheduling a same day appointment. This is um, with an organization that is in the Tyson's Corner, Virginia area. I'll provide the doctor's information. I know Dr. Fraboot, I'll provide specific information in the comment box, but um, I actually scheduled a same day consultation I went in, you know, I was very impressed with, you know, just the understanding. I, I mean, I already had a clear understanding of all the different, especially weight loss surgery options and the impact, et cetera. And, you know, he kind of showed the mix of, of where the balloons fit in that process. Um, I spoke with Stacy, who I'm not sure of her role. She seems like just an overall coordinator. But I, I just love the fact that they were open to all of my um, questions, concerns. And, you know, I told them one of my bigger concerns was that the, the limited amount of information, you know, I didn't want to be a guinea pig. Um, you know, she was telling me about the forms that they had on the website, but unfortunately the forms are only for current users. So she actually let me use her log on and review the forms and I was really impressed with um, the the nurturing there, the success stories, the you know ongoing dialogue that you see in a lot of those weight loss forms that I have you know that I have been stalking already. Um, so I was I was just really impressed that it was a community available to me that I, I would find useful in, in this journey. So, um, I will be going to Cancun on Wednesday the 27th. I get back Wednesday, uh, Sunday, July 31st. And as of August 1st, I will be starting my soft diet, then liquid diet, then having my surgery on the 3rd. So right now, I'm doing a lot, a lot of brushing up, even though I had already brushed up on some things. Just, you know, what I need and just really starting to get my mind right. Um, I would love to bond with any individuals that are already in this process or considering so we can, you know, join together and really be supportive. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys and I will begin tracking my journey along the way. Thank you.